Let us consider a pipe with different cross sections as shown. Here, let the section, here let's call the section as A and let's call the section as B. Now, let there be a fluid flowing through the section like this. And we have the area of the cross section of this section B, A1 and the velocity of the fluid through the section B, V, V1. Therefore, the length will be the length of the section or the length of the fluid equal to velocity into time. Velocity into time. Velocity into time is the length. Let's call that as PQ. The length of PQ is equal to V1 delta T. Now, the fluid will flow through the section B. Let the velocity of the fluid at the section B be V2. And we have the velocity here V2 and the area of cross section A2. Then we have this length is equal to V2 times delta T. V2 times delta T. And let the density of the fluid here is rho 1 and the density of the fluid here is at rho 2. Then we have by law of conservation of mass, the mass of the flow, fluid flowing through the section A equal to mass of the fluid flowing through the section B. That is M1 equal to M2 by law of conservation of mass. But you know mass is equal to volume at the section A into density at the section A. Volume into density. Similarly, mass at the section B equal to volume of the fluid at the section B into density of the section B. Density of the fluid at the section B. But we have volume equal to cross section area into length. But length equal to V1 delta T. So this VA equal to A1 times V1 delta T. And the density at the section A is equal to rho 1 is equal to V2 here it is A2 cross section area is A2 and the length is equal to V2 delta T into rho B is density of the fluid at the section B is equal to you can cancel this delta T and delta T also we are just considering the case of an incompressible fluid. And for an incompressible fluid, you have density remains the same. That is rho 1 equal to rho 2. So you can cancel this one also. So you get an equation A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. This is the equation of continuity. Let's call that as equation number 1. So let's write it in here. We'll get different equations for the derivation of Bernoulli's equation. Now we have to write that as that in here a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so that's the first equation now we have change in kinetic energy at the two sections delta ke we have change in kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy at the section b minus kinetic energy at the section a so half m V2 square minus kinetic energy is equal to half into mass into velocity square. At the section B, its velocity is V2. So kinetic energy at A equal to half m V1 square. So this can be half m can be taken outside. So it will be V2 square minus V1 square. Also, mass is equal to half into vol volume into density. Volume means A1 into length. You can take any of the value because mass remains the same. A1 delta T. So this is the volume into density is rho. Let's take let's take consider the density as rho. Rho1 equal to rho2 equal to rho. Into V2 square minus V1 square. So this is the expression for change in kinetic energy. So let's write it write it in here we have change in kinetic energy delta k 
delta kt let, let's write delta kt equal to half a1 v1 delta t rho v2 square minus v1 square let's call that as equation number two now let's find the change in potential energy for that you have to consider the height above the surface of the earth we have this height is equal to let's take that as h1 and let's take this height as h2 so we have change in potential energy delta pe is equal to mg height at b or potential energy at b minus potential energy at a potential energy at b is equal to mg h2 minus mg h1 so this is equal to mg into h2 minus h1 again m is equal to volume into density volume means cross sectional area into length that is v1 delta t into density rho g then you have to write this g and h2 minus h1 so this is the expression for this is the expression for change in potential energy and you write it in here that is change in potential energy is equal to a1 v1 delta t rho g into h2 minus h1 let's call that as equation number three now we have to find the net to work done net work done on the fluid now net work done on the liquid that is equal to here work is done on the on the liquid so work done work done on the liquid minus here the work has to be work is done by the fluid minus work done by the fluid or by the liquid always you know work is equal to work is equal to let's write it in here work is equal to force into displacement also force is equal to pressure into area pressure into area into displacement so work is equal to pressure area displacement so this is equal to let's let's call network done as delta w so delta w is equal to y delta w is equal to work done on the liquid here is pressure let's call that as pressure p1 cross sectional area is a1 into displacement is v1 delta t minus work done by the fluid in here is equal to here the pressure is p2 cross sectional area is a2 then the length displacement equal to v2 delta t therefore therefore the change in work of the network done so the network done delta w is equal to instead of a2 v2 you can write as a1 v1 so here you can write as a1 v1 so this equation will be p1 a1 v1 delta t minus p2 instead of a2 v2 you can write a1 v1 delta t so this a1 v1 delta t is common so it will be p1 minus p2 so that's delta w so you write delta w as equation number four that is delta w is equal to a1 v1 delta t times p1 minus p2 call that as equation number four so these are the different equations of uh, for the energy changes in 
in order to derive the Bernoulli's equation. So we have by the law of conservation of energy, net to work done W is equal to change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy. That is delta W is equal to A1 V1 delta T P1 minus P2 is equal to delta P E is equal to A1 V1 delta T rho G into H2 minus H1 plus change in kinetic energy is equal to half A1 V1 rho delta sorry rho delta T so delta T rho into V2 square minus V1 square you can simplify this You can cancel this A1 V1 delta T in every term. So this will be P1 minus P2 is equal to rho G H2 minus rho G H1 plus half rho V2 square minus half rho V1 square. And you can take all the terms of of one or at the section a to one side that is taking this this and this term to the left you have p1 plus rho g h1 plus half rho v1 square is equal to p2 plus rho g h2 plus half rho v2 square or this is equal to p1 plus half rho v1 square plus rho g h1 is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square plus rho g h2 and this is called the Bernoulli's equation or in other words you can write the words you can write p plus half rho v square plus rho g h equal to a constant clear this is the Bernoulli's equation.